Alright lads, welcome back to another daily upload. That's right, daily upload. We've been doing daily uploads all week. Double daily uploads um all last week I think. Maybe this week. Don't know when this video is gonna come out. Um I'm just grinding, you know. I've been just grinding, making videos, editing videos, making thumbnails. You know how it is. Um with this video we're coming with tips for how to track a bit better, you know, improve that tracking aim. We're gonna start off with just the same tip I do in all my aim videos, just for new people that haven't seen the other previous ones. And if you do want to, they're going to be in a, a playlist on my channel called How to Improve at Fortnite. Just a full playlist. We're going in depth with all my tip videos there. Um, so yeah, again, starting off with low sensitivity versus high sensitivity. It's going to be a lot easier to track on an extremely low sensitivity than an extremely high sensitivity. That is debatable. Because super low sensitivity means you have to move your arm very far. You can see me in this gameplay. I have a very low sensitivity. Like an extremely low. Like we're talking half of mongrel sense. Half of bugger sense. It, it's, a, it's pretty low right now. It's like an 8 with 400 DPI for anyone wondering. But moving on. Low sensitivity is definitely the better option. But obviously the way better option is something in the middle. Because that's going to be more consistent across every level. You're going to be more uh, agile when you're editing and building. Because it's a medium, a medium sensitivity. And obviously, you're going to be able to aim decently. Not as good as someone on low sensitivity, but then again, you have the advantage with being able to build better and edit better. So you can have the upper hand in them ways. Um, that's just my opinion, obviously. Some people prefer different ways. Some people prefer high sense, and they will play better on high sensitivity. I'm just more of a low sensitivity kind of player. And that could be because I'm new to mouse and keyboard, like relevantly new in the last year. So I don't know. Well, I'm going to move on to my practice medits because that's probably something people want to know, like how they should be practicing and stuff like that. Um, the best way to practice, in my opinion, um, I'm going to just go through my lists, my, 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 top, my top four ways, is 1v1 aim jewels. I really like that. Recently, I've really liked that. Um, you've got your creative aim maps. You've got Aim Lab, which is uh, basically a free aiming software, like an aim training software on PC. It's my preference. I would like no nothing against uh kovacs or anything like that but i just feel way i feel like i improve way more using aim lab nothing to do with the drills or anything like that or trying to promote i don't have promotion we're way too low key for that kind of shit but i just prefer it just letting you know um and then you've got zone wars zone wars is great for all kinds of practice again in the how-to playlist we have videos on all that kind of stuff on why zone wars is the best way to practice and my opinions my theories and stuff like that but as long as you're getting practice in look it doesn't matter what kind of practice a little bit of everything is good. So don't just sweat aim uh, aim labs 24-7. And don't just like sweat 1v1 aim drills. You know, combo both of them. But get a nice blend going and you will see your aim improve severely. Like insanely a lot. Um, And stop. You need to stop uh, swapping sensitivity. Like when you get pissed in the game. That's not uh, like a sign to say, oh, I'm playing bad. I need to swap my sensitivity. I need to play better. Nope. Don't do that, man. You got to stop swapping your sensitivity. It's just not good for your muscle memory. I've been there. I've done it so far. I'm literally doing it right now. That's why I'm making this video because I've noticed I've been playing 8 sensitivity. Obviously, 400 DPI, so it's extremely low. And then I've seen what other players were using because uh, I'm used to playing COD professionally and stuff or whatever. Not professionally, but, you know, I dabble with the tournaments and stuff, whatever. Um, And I, I, I'm so used to playing low sensitivity. So then when I came to Fortnite, it's like, oh... God damn it, it's pretty low, but I'm comfortable with it, but still, it's pretty low. So I tried 9.1, then I tried a 10, then a 10.5. Now I'm on 11.5, which is a bit higher than, it's like on par with Mongrel, I think, a bit higher, because I'm using 400 DPI. I'm not too sure, but it's in and around that ballpark, okay? You use diehard fans, don't get mad if my sensitivity is not like Mongrel's. I'm sorry. Um, But moving on. I want you guys to comment... If your aim feels like if you've done aim, aim drills before, you got to comment and let me know how it could just be me. But I'm pretty sure like everyone feels this, but my aim feels super fresh after coming out of aim labs. I don't know why, like I'm hitting every shot afterwards. Not aim labs. Sorry, my bad. When I come out of an aim jewel, my aim feels super fresh. So if anybody's like done aim jewels before or whatever, does, does their aim feel super fresh or is that just mine? Like even if I'm messing around with a shotgun in aim, uh, aim jewels. My aim comes out so fresh, like unbelievably fresh. I just, I never believe it, to be honest. I think it's because you're isolated. It's an isolation exercise where you kind of focus not just on even aiming, but just one key aspect of aiming, whether it be flicks or just tracking, you know, it's one key aspect of aiming. You're so isolated to what you can do. And um, that's why you improve so much on something so 
uh, little like doing zone wars, you're going to improve on your rotations, your building, and um, your ballsy players, so to speak. Um, getting materials, being knowledgeable, you know, all different types of things, looting, uh, how to like play late games, how to choose a layer, all that stuff you'll improve in zone wars. That's why I love it so much. It's like play two, three hours of zone wars, you're going to improve like every bit of your skill, every skill, like you'll improve your aim. You will improve your tracking by 1%. You'll improve your flicks by 1%. You'll improve your rotations by 1%. It's like, rather than improving, like doing this for like an hour a day, like improves you, but like, let's just say 5%. That's what I find weird. Okay. When you do this and improve like your small bit of your game, by like 5%. Uh, that's just a weird thing to me. But anyway, look, moving on, getting back on topic. Don't autopilot. That's very important when you're playing. Man, you can't be autopiloting. You can't just like, you got to focus your eyes on that crosshair, on that center dot and that bloom. Just focus your eyes on that when you're practicing. Only when you're practicing. You can't expect to do that in game. You will go mad and your eyes will get sore. But just be super focused on that crosshair and where it's going to land. And trust me, like I know a lot of people would say practice without a crosshair. It'll make it so much better. Maybe it will. I like doing that for editing because it gets your muscle memory. But you can't really get muscle memory on where that crosshair is going to be. You can. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not a doubter or anything. If that works for you, it works for you. I don't think it works for me, though. Because, like, sure, you're playing at a disadvantage with no crosshair. But your whole point is playing with that crosshair, you know, to uh, to get used to where it's meant to be and just be able to abuse it, basically. Basically, especially for you aim assist players, you know, that controller gang. I uh, used to be a part of that team, but, you know, it swapped to the, to the dark side, so to speak, for that extra that extra aim capabilities because i think my aim is better now to be honest but look focus on that crosshair like if you could see my eyes with a face camera or something right now i am just staring like literally not even blinking at my crosshair so focused on it where it's going to be i'm trying to get it on the head all the time 24 7 that's why i miss a lot of shots in this because i'm really trying to get it on the head but look don't autopilot when you're in game it's fine to autopilot a little bit you can never stay in that flow state for so long okay you have to just Focus when you need to focus in practice, and when the game comes, more towards autopilot. Don't full autopilot. That's just terrible. That would be me giving you the worst advice. But you know what I mean. Just try and you know, let it go a bit. Uh, I'm gonna leave you with the rest of the gameplay. I think uh, we don't really talk, but you know, if you want to watch it, you want to watch it. It's just me kind of just going ham, uh, just aiming for headshots. You can see my aim is just. And to me, it's nasty. Maybe to use, it's not, but. My standards had some insane aim. I literally barely missing a shot. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave you with that. Hope you had a good day. Um, I would really appreciate it if you subscribed before I let you go to watch the gameplay because it would mean so much. Um, not for me, but like for your for your own game, you're gonna learn so much and request videos. We do requests over here because I don't know what to be making half the time. I just give out what I feel like giving out. We do daily. We're not slacking. So if you want to sub, you're gonna find yourself a very good tip video person. I don't know what to call myself yet. I don't know. I spread knowledge. I'm out. Have a good one.